Hello everyone and welcome to the Super Data Science Chatbot series. Now we're going to take elements of artificial intelligence, some machine learning, and some natural language processing in order to build our chatbot. Now for this project it's going to be quick, it's going to be fun, you know, we're not going to get too crazy or highly in-depth, but in the end I'm hoping you'll be able to take away the main elements of building a chatbot with artificial intelligence. You'll be able to incorporate your own data into a chatbot and you'll be able to expand upon this project. You'll be able to experiment, build new things, and maybe incorporate it into uh, a realistic web, a web page or website where you'll be able to develop and push this project further and further. And you'll be thinking, you know, why, why do we want to build a chatbot? Well, to start, we've come a long way. We've seen chatbots progress quickly and, quick, and even quicker, and especially now, we've moved even further from bots that were hard-coded, bots that were coded in extensive loops where you had to input specific text and it would already have predetermined text based upon that answer. Think about a very, very long if statement if you uh, want a good example of it. You know, these bots are able to take in now more complex information in extremely large data sets. And before we discussed our if statements, you know, previously hard-coded bots would be, you know, if text equals this, then print this, and print this, and print this, and it would run down. But you know, we're now working with technologies that allow us to pass in models such as this where we basically remove our extremely long if statements and again, allow us to pass in more sophisticated data to run it and train it without the need to hard code it. All our apps are starting to utilize them where hopefully in the near future we can end up discussing complex ideas or asking app for highly tailored recommendations. Maybe take a look at Siri as an idea of a chatbot and see the ex extent on which Siri can listen to commands and perform you know, chatbot-like chat tasks. Now, maybe another quick example would be every time you log on to a specific website, you see a little bot or a little chat bubble that pops up. You know, these tend to be chatbots, highly programmed chat chatbots that their services are tailored to the specific business and they are able to take in your queries and able to perform a variety of services that eliminate the need for someone to sit there and actually just wait for someone to log on and ask questions. Now these chatbots are highly useful and highly applicable. But I digress. For this project, to give you a quick introduction, we're going to use TFLearn. TFLearn is a high-level API built on top of TensorFlow. You can find TFLearn on GitHub at github.com slash TFLearn. You can also go to tflearn.org to find out information about TFLearn. We're also going to be using Jupyter Notebooks for our environment to build this project in, which you can get from downloading Anaconda, which I highly suggest you download Anaconda, set up a contained environment, um, install TensorFlow as well, because that will be one of the requirements as well. But we will be moving into the install requirements in the next video. We're going to be using this data set which is essentially a large piece of data containing Shakespeare text as input. If you want, take a scroll through the information, take a look at this, what we're going to be using to train our, our chatbot on. But you can also, towards the end of the chatbot series, I'm hoping that you will be able to also learn enough from this quick series where you can train your chatbot on other data sets such as the Cornell Movie Quotes Corpus, Facebook also produces, uh, Facebook's AI team also produces a great data set to use that is somewhat standard within the industry that you see, um, see individuals using for specific projects. And then you're uh, more than welcome and I highly encourage you to go out and experiment on your own, incorporate any data sets that you come across. And now we're going to be moving on to the next part in our series, which will be getting the installation set up and the required packages. Like I said, this is going to be a fast, fun moving series. There isn't too much to be set up. There isn't too much to have pre-installed. Just a couple of quick requirements that we will go over and we will get started building our chatbot. And one last note before we move on to the next video in our series. Don't forget to subscribe to the Super Data Science channel to get valuable content every week. And also, don't forget to like, share, and comment on the video. Alright, let's move on to the next video.